Assalamu alaikum and welcome to this channel again. Video is a conversation between me and my friend, and it's a series conversation which we call the converse that we started last year. So last year was season one. I know I mean if you you won't find the last year videos on the channel because I am working on the videos that we did for the season one which was last year 2022 Ramadan it, it was a significant change and we needed to update um, the video accordingly for this season which is season two for this Ramadan 2023 we decided to talk about Haya which means bashfulness or modesty and we talked about the modern society um, spiritual balance and what else did we talk about? Mm. We had a few other topics that we wanted to talk about. And the few other topics are shirk, um, halal food in Nigeria, um, mental health, depression, Muslim identity, and so on and so forth. Yeah, we have topics like that that we wanted to discuss. The first one that we did, which we talked about the modesty, the higher um, modern society and spiritual balance. That one went well. The second time when we met, my internet was so bad. My internet was bad. Every time we put the video on, it shut down on me. Like her, her side was good, but my side was not it it wasn't going to work so we couldn't finish the talk like discuss in detail other topics but on the first day that we did the first video we were able to discuss a few things there and there about the next topics that we are going to discuss which i will also share in the video as the last series or maybe parts of episode two to episode three and you know, we recorded this like the very last week of Ramadan. So on maybe like the fourth day or the third day before Ramadan ends, that's when we decided to do the second one. And it do it didn't end up, it didn't work out. So, but for the few ones that we did, for the few topics that we discussed, I thought that it was resourceful, was informative, and we, we did our best. I hope you guys see through it and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we enjoy having this conversation and also recording it. So anyway, you will obviously meet my friend in the video. Her name is Anifa. I've known her since since um since JSS one when I went to, when I was in Nigeria, when I studied in Nigeria. So I've known her since JSS one. So she's my party, she's my pal, she's my friend, she's my, my very good friend. So I do hope that you enjoy the video, do comment, do share, do um, comment, like, subscribe, share, what else? I think that's all. But anyways, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it resourceful, informative, and if you would like to share a commentary or two, of course, go ahead again. It's Aisha. And thank you for watching. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Then, oh, Allah, I'll give this for you and you. And you know this. You can never disappoint me. Of course. Allah never does. Of course. Yeah. Of Don't course. Don't find out yeah. that things are just falling into your ways. And, and then you are free. You see, you know, sometimes when you are looking, they say, ah, okay, what if I cover now? I won't be able to work in some in certain places. Yeah. Going by people. Some people, are, people will be looking down at me and things like that. But yeah. when you just look up, you know, I told you the, when I started, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, yeah. So, in fact, my life is even more e easier now. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, that's uh, well, I guess it's a change, and I don't know, maybe like sometimes our most immediate family they don't like gravitate to like the changes that we make, 
in our mm. lives. It's so sad. Like sometimes the people close to you, they are the one that be like, oh, that you would think that they will be the one that supports you, like give you the hundred percent support, but then they the one that want to pull you back, attacking you with like all these arguments and questions. Why? But why? But why? But I learned a life for today. I am very glad. I am happy for you because I know it's another level of faith. I, I believe it's another level of faith. I wanted her to come. I wanted her to join. And I feel, you know, oftentimes I told you before, I miss my friends back home. I miss the community that I had back home. So this is like a way for me to reconnect back. You know, what other way can I, what other way uh, can we like still be friends and connect um, in a way that is meaningful. I have a platform that I want to share it with my friends, of course. So, yeah. But look at us talking about, okay, let's start with the first topic, higher. Higher, higher, higher. By the way, I like that name, higher. I like it too. Higher is, um, it's literally, the view of higher is, Bashfulness. You know, sometimes some people call it timidness, and I think the yeah. perfect word to use for the, the uh, for higher is modesty. Yeah, yeah, modesty, being, yeah, being reserved. I think, like not being too loud or something like that. Just being in that medium. You no, know, when you are in your chances, in your in your actions, and. Um, the way you behave in the society, probably all those things fall is falls into a fall into a higher. So when you say higher, higher is you know, there are several ideas of the people so higher is uh, and higher for you and I have there are another one that says higher uh, and higher will be the demand and several hardies like that. Rather it's going to the fact that you can never possess this modesty and then you will be misguided or you are going to be at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. I know you're talking about higher, it's not that it, it pertains to the woman, to the women alone. So both the men and the women, because higher is when you say modesty, as a man is supposed to be modest, the same way a woman is supposed to be modest. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Changes from the way you speak out there as a Muslim as a Muslim fellow, the way you speak, the way you address people, the way it encompasses the way you even um your relationship to your Lord. Because if you have higher you the, the peak of higher is the one that will be guiding you towards the right path. Of course, yeah, of course. I totally when agree. You have the fear of Allah that Allah says I should not do this this path of modesty. Uh, you should, you should, you should not transgress a land, a land's boundaries. So it changes from the way we speak, the way we address people, the way we behave in the society, and things like that. Because the people said that it was narrated in the life of Jesus and someone, that someone was rebuking, uh, probably the younger one, or the, the, but the, the son, his son, that uh, is too timid. But still, you know, uh, the people that say leave him because Al Haya means Iman. Haya is part of Iman. So, yes. but it, and it means if you say you are Muslim or you are Muslim, mm -hmm. so this Haya is not part of you. It means the Iman is not even there in the first place. Because, I mean, it's not even complete because you say it's part of it. Yes, so yes. So, part of Iman. You have to inculcate this ayah in the iman as well. So if you see someone who is in the society or doing what is again against the will of Allah, you know the person's iman is in question. Yes, yes, definitely. As Muslims, you just have to be very careful because you know this um this environment of how the father says in an environment that that someone to put eyes out. Like wants to bring out the beast in his at first. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes when you get to the bank or you get to the malls and supermarkets and things like that, you just see people who want to frustrate you. I want to be I want they want to want to make you behave. 
well, I'm not doing this because of you anyway. Um, just go, <laughs> you just go, and things like that. But there are some times where you just have to talk. But in a way that you be guided, just be mindful of your own utterances and things like that. And then you let them go, you leave them to your Lord to judge, <laughs> to judge them. And then um, another one is the people who want to, to maltreat you or you, they want to put you down, they want to lower, lower your head to at all costs. Yes. Because it, is in this, uh, most of the time, I don't know about the, um, the, your side, but in this, it's uh, everywhere. Uh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. That's the survival of the fit is that you don't have this a bit of madness in you. <laughs> so really to... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, of course, uh, of course, of course, a bit of madness or even more. But it's uh they are not going into their way. Even if even if you say, okay, I want to keep to myself, how to you see this some people who want who wants to force the beast out of you, <laughs> you know. Well, in cases like that, you don't have to you don't have to show them a bit of you. Not, but I mean, speaking in a in a safe voice and not in a way that the way they want you to behave, because they want you to yeah. behave in a certain way. When you are very strict in your utterances and you see that you are firm, they will know that this one doesn't fit. So let's just. <laughs> Are doing that does not mean that we should also transgress our limits because we have to preserve our faith. Yeah, yeah, of, of course. And that um, there are three levels of ayah, and I know you mentioned. I think you brush up on every the, the all all of them, like the personal one and the social one with people and spiritual one with Allah. I know I've usually heard ayah as in shyness and. As in being timid, being reserved, and I don't know if I attach uh, modesty to it, but I just really kind of see it as you know you don't you don't you you treat people and you treat yourself in the most respectful manner, like you don't insult people or even like if they do something to you be be calm, like try to, you know, in, in terms of conflict, you express higher in that sense that you won't, I don't know, you won't fight the person. You try to find middle grounds. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. But yeah. The, 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 I, mean, the, I mean, the perfect definition of higher is living one's life in accordance with the Quran and so No, it is. In accordance with the Quran and Sunnah, that is going to tell you the way you are going to relate to people else there, the way you are going to relate to the Lord, the yeah. way you are going to. Everything is in Islam already. Yes. So when we live our life in accordance with the Quran and Sunnah, so that means Haya is, is in us. So because, you know, it is it's everything, the way you are going to relate to people is there in Islam already. Yes. So, okay. even Christian. Mm-hmm. That is difficult in Islam, your neighbors and people in your community, in your environment, and things like everything is there in, in the Quran and the Sunnah already. So, when you just say higher, higher is living ones like in accordance with this, with the, I mean, the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad. So, what so, we are okay. doing, the first one, the first of all, the levels of higher is just the spiritual one. So, if mm-hmm. the spiritual one is there, it is going to guide us in social and the personal aspects. Yes. Manifestation of the higher in our lives. Yes, yes. I, I think if you if you can be in that uh, space where it is only uh, you and Allah, you know, you're reading Quran and you're fully conce- um, concentrating and you're praying to, I mean, I struggle. I struggle with like, no concentration every time like you're um praying it's like you know you just have like so many things to do and you're thinking of 10 things to do i don't know why like every time you get up you want to pray that's when you remember oh i haven't done do this i haven't done this i, I still have to do this oh like shut the word off shut all the responsibility um off and focus on your prayer i, I pray towards it so for the focus 
and oh, I pray for the best. You know, we all have to pray for the no, best. No, no, the the shaitan, shaitan will never leave the believers alone. So they just want to distract you at all costs. <laughs> but thank God that he's locked up at this time. Like he's locked up, he's locked up this time. So it's not welcome. It's not welcome this time around. So there is nothing we can do. I'm taking the permission from Allah to distract the believers, and Allah has granted this to you. Sir. If you are not going to never distract those who are for me, those who believe in me, no matter how much you try, yes. Effort, not overcome overcome them so but that doesn't stop shaitan from coming to us anyway sometimes when you it's time for you to observe the character to see you just keep yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. of course of course turn up the alarm <laughs> you do this then you take the other side before you know it you are off even if the distractions are coming the fear of allah we have the modesty we have towards the ladder, oh Allah, and I cannot afford to meet his role. Mm-hmm. I cannot afford to face him on the day of judgment and asking me why I did not do this at this particular time. You have the fear of a lion, you and that is higher as well. So it is going to give us the energy to just say, Oh, I want to be on a shelter, let me start. So let me just stand up and do the new thing, and then. You just go. If you still come back anyway, that I will still come back because you don't need. You don't need this again. Yeah, just have to be prayerful, and then you have this utmost prayer of Allah in this. Mm-hmm. In everything you do, anyway, you have to like be prayerful. And if you, they said, if you want something bad, you will pray for it. Like pray for it, like your life depend on it. I mean, your life depend on it. But still, yeah. um, pray for it. There is no um, prayer that you do that Allah does not accept. I think that's the main um, convention that yes. generally Allah accepts every prayer. Am I right? That's true. So, yes, Allah, even if we felt that he has no answer, this, probably he has something better than what you are actually praying for in the first place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, like you talk about higher in. Um, like from your perspective, I just want to say, like in the Western of in the Western world, anyway, the Western environment. But even so, like I see sometimes on Instagram, I um or like on social media, you see like all these um like celebrities and you know the way of life. Even like in Nigeria, and as I see from from social media, you will see like Muslim sisters and everything, like you know. All those home and bear parties, like everybody wants to be going snatched. Yeah. Like everybody just wants to be going to all this home and be snatched. And and even here, you still have that element of that. You know, I think it's the kind of uh, level that um, the Western society is placed in as if they are this ideal society that everybody has to aspire to. Now, like you see people, people dress the way they like. It seems like I mean, it seems like in winter time when everybody, everybody be modest in winter time, like, <laughs> but like you can you cannot afford not to be modest in winter time. You have to be. So everybody be dressing, they be dressing. They, are you wearing a cap? Everybody like full on, full on um kima and because of the weather, you know, because of the weather, the weather kind of forced people to be modest. You cannot go out in a, I don't know, in a sweat, in a skinny pants. You cannot go out. You can't go out in a singlet or tank top. You cannot do that. You will be forced. When the weather is like negative 40, like a deep freezer. Deep freezer is not even cold. Negative 40. So there's no way people are going to not, they're not going to like dress modestly. But in the summertime, ah, you will see every sort of dressing. So the higher is just like during the winter time it comes in, and the, during the winter time it leaves. Some of the Muslim youth, you know, I'll say that the uh, the higher is also a personal struggle. Uh, it's a personal struggle. I guess if you are um a person that is very conscious of faith, 
you will see that like in the western society it's i mean i live in the west and i could live i could just be like hmm, maybe i'll do i don't want to i don't want to wear my hijab maybe i don't want to dress modestly i just want to dress the way that i want or the way that that the society wants or push youth teenagers to dress but i'll handle it like it didn't that that didn't happen i've always if i'm not wearing my hijab or a kind of turban i've always kind of like dress modestly and go about my way but of course that's not the case for so many other uh, sisters or muslim sisters either sisters or brothers that are still struggling they have peer pressure like people be asking them oh just try this drug just try this um cigarette it's not going to kill you it's not going to do anything and you know little by little like that you're going yeah sometimes i don't want to say western society because i feel like it's everywhere you know you have sometimes they will pitch um group to each other you know white people be saying like saying this the black people will be saying another stuff and the Arabs be saying all that stuff and Asian, you have like all these groups like that are always in constant, um, in constant clash, you know, as in like in the Western society, there will be, some people will be like black girls are loud or something like that. You actually see some people that say it as an insult, like, oh, black girls are so loud. And sometimes they'll be like, white girls or like i don't know maybe lighter skin girls they are calm they are more reserved they are more feminine society do this and they pitch um groups like that to each other and it's like no that is not true because you see and then the energy will come out especially i guess maybe if you are the person that is being put down i won't say being loud itself is not is bad being loud is not bad. I mean, sometimes you really have to voice your opinion and call people out when they are being, when they are being um, unfair or when, or just behaving wrongly or treating people bad. You know, there's sometimes you have to raise your voice and you have to be loud. Not loud as in being disrespectful, but loud as in like, I'm making a point and, and you should listen so we can communicate. You know what I mean? I don't know where it comes from that um, black girls are loud. I really don't. Because sometimes I, when it, especially when I'm in like a group or in like my, like, uh, my friends group, I sometimes tend to be louder than the other people in the group. And it just, it's not because I'm doing it out of like, I don't know, spite or being disrespectful or not giving the other person a say. It just... It just like I, I guess when you have that personality that is so flamboyant, you know, you have that like you just come across like that. Maybe this higher also has to do with personality, especially if you have people that have like a very very big and very very um um extroverted kind of personality, and you know they just have to say say what they want any way they want. And I guess, like, if they are very um, professional about it, they will stay within the um, respectful continuum and not be disrespectful in any way. You get what I mean? I, I, I mean, I lived in Nigeria. I've, I associated with so many black girls. It's so weird. So many black African girls. And it's so weird that, like, when you come to another society and all these um, ideas about a group is pushed on other on, on another group that it is really not true personally i think us black girls are beautiful in every shade in all the different kind of shades that we come in and if the society wants to um exert some kind of behavior or some kind of personality that is not us I don't think we should focus on it. I know, like, sometimes it gets to you. As you exhibit a personality like that, it might come, it might come some of us. Am I, I mean, is this true? Am I loud? Am I this? When honestly, you are not. When honestly, it's just, it's just you. It just, 
your tone of your tone it's just your it's just yourself you know what i mean i know some people naturally have a very quieter tone and some people they have a more louder tone you know so one distinction that i want to point out to that manner do you have any other things you want to add before we move on mm, like you said it's not only in the west no, it's, like it's, it's everywhere it's everywhere it's not only in the west that people will try to cause their own personality on you it happens here like you know you see people you know especially those who are closer to you and yes from the family members yeah mm -hmm. and it's oh okay. yes yes especially that yeah you see people who wants to who wants to enforce their own opinion or their own way of standing on you. Yeah, yeah and definitely you're right, you're very right. But when we're talking about yeah, when you know I said it's just living in accordance with you know, it is the thing now that the one and the thing that will tell you this is the right thing to do, this is the wrong mm -hmm. thing to do. Mm -hmm. and you have when you had dared to that strict thing. So that is going to give us a courage to face them. I mean yeah. to in a certain way to explain to them and if they are not ready, you just have to be original in your own way. If they are not ready to to, I mean, to listen to you, then they should, they are going to give you a look. When they say the first time, the second time, the third time and they say just like and they they feel like they they, they didn't see you change. Yeah. And better they better leave you like they say, hey, please just leave them. That is the way she has chosen to live and you know things like that. So yeah, yeah. yeah. That humility for Allah, I mean. it is that humility for Allah that is going to guide us in the way we relate to people, in the way we, the education, I mean, in terms of education, education, our social life, you know, when you get to school, there are so many things you learn in school as well. Yes, of course, yeah. So it is this higher, when you have this higher, the, the humility towards the light is going to guide you you know, in the way you receive those information. The way you filter those, you give you the tools to filter those kind of, kind of information you get in school. Yeah. So the same thing with social life as well. It's going to guide us the way we relate to people and the way we are going to respect others as well. And if other people are trying to enforce their own way on us, you know the way we, we address that. You know, when you have, you know, you just have the conviction that, look, you see that I cannot leave Allah alone because of you. <laughs> is it that you listen to you accept me the way I am or you leave me? <laughs> you understand? So it is that higher that is going to guide us in that aspect as well. In fact, political as well. So it is when you have this humility towards the light, it's going to guide to let you know that you are going to a political office mm -hmm. and to become people's slaves. Yes, so not yes. To them, not mm -hmm. to be a dictator or to to be an authoritarian and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I said, if you are a leader, you are, you are, you are the slave of those you are leading. Yes, so, yes. Not, it's not that this is one kind of rule or something that is there. Because you can be fair of a lie. You have everything is there already in the Quran. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So just the immediate story of life will guide you. We, we guide you, your, your action in that kind of office. So, and then the way you relate, no, in fact, in fact, we are even talking about the West. So, Allah is the one side, the West is the, is the other side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, either you are for Allah, or <laughs> you cannot be in the middle ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, no matter how much, how much you try to let them accept you, mm -hmm. and uh, you are gaining that kind of acceptance, it means there are still some aspects you are even also building when it comes to your religion. You need to imagine those who are using you to dab and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know the kind of humiliation and sometimes discrimination they get. Yes. Things. Yes, definitely. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, or you are for the West. Because everything about the West is just anti, anti, I mean, anti-Islamic. Because they want you. Yeah, and so moral. And work, not, not to even talk about black. Yeah, I know. Like it's it's um 
it's always like anti anti moral anti everything like everybody just wants to do what they want how they want in the, and nobody can stop them nobody can say anything okay, okay. if you say something went from do what they like but they should not use their own measure to, to dictate my own life so i was just talking how like in the social media platform the level of boldness from the from from people like even if not if, even if they're not like a part of the lgbtq platform the level of boldness from people to just bash people to want to enforce their own ideals or another the argument now is that i don't care how you want to live your life you can live your life however you want but when you start coming to my to me and saying that I have to agree with what you said. Like it's not like I should agree. It's like I have to agree with you. I ha I must follow what you said. I must do this because you want to feel accepted. You want to feel welcome. You want to feel everything that mm. so many of us don't even ever feel or will never feel or won't even get half of it. <laughs> but you want it all like nobody has it all but really, like from the 2001 you know when the 9 11 happened and all this and all this um idea i know these ideas and attacks and um hostilities began towards the muslim society there's so many things and um, so many um uh, people in the community that actually fight for you know, this is the Islam that we know. This is the Islam that the Quran says and the, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. This is what the Islam is about, not whatever that what whatever 9-11 was about. Islam is not part of violence. There are so many people that fight for that. They and they honest and I think they fight for the bare minimum to just be seen as human and not be be associated with whatever. 9-11 was about Muslim or not it's not there's no association there it doesn't connect no 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 one in their right sense will do that and should do that it's not and so many people really advocate for the positive image of islam in the western society i know like i was in nigeria 2001 like do we know do we do, I don't. I don't even think I ever know about nine eleven until I came to the website. Like, mm -mm, what is this about? Like, tell me what is this about? Like, honestly, I have no idea. I do. I don't know. Like, you just go to your screen, come back. You know, Islam is that free in Nigeria. You have uh, fifty uh, fifty percent that are that are Muslim and fifty percent that are Christians, and everybody just doing their own thing, and no one is. Oh, I mean, sometimes you get that religion in the same kind of clashes, especially between Muslim and Christians. I don't know if it still happened, but I don't know, and I did not know about 9-11 until I came to um, Canada. And, you know, even after many years, maybe about three, four years after living in Canada, that's when I began to slowly, slowly learn about what happened, why, how, I was just an Nigerian Muslim. I didn't know anything else. <laughs> That's all. Back then, they fought for the bare minimum just to not link Islam to the whatever 9 11 was about and just for make the positive image of Islam in the social media so people can actually personally know what Islam is about. It's about kindness, about respect, helping people, and not anything about violence.